Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Actually, I've been thinking to talk about another topic today, but you requested topical vitamin E in the last video. And so here it is. Before we start, I just want to put out, like I said before in the previous video, that your skin type is heavily influenced by your genetics and this content is provided for informational purposes only and it does not intend to substitute professional medical advice, treatment or diagnosis. So let's get straight into it. Vitamin E is an important antioxidant and it protects the skin from harmful effects of solar radiation by acting as a free radical scavenger that can damage the cells. Experimental studies suggest that vitamin E has a photoprotective properties and for this reason it's an important ingredient in skincare and is a popular treatment for a number of skin disorders. Free radicals damages your cells but it's also weakens your skin barrier so it's really important to protect your skin against free radicals. The most interesting thing is to show that even after a small amount of UA exposure vitamin E in your skin drops by 50% and it's really important to replenish it to maintain the skin health. While it moisturizes your skin, it also fights against inflammation. And one study showed that vitamin E relieves the symptoms like redness, itchy and irritated skin. That's why a lot of brands mix it with vitamin C to add additional antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties to their products and it's beneficial not only for your face but all over in your body because research showed that vitamin E helps with scar recovery from wounds, uh, surgeries and burns and it also helps to prevent and treat stretch marks. And the last but not least, vitamin E generally works for everyone but if you have oily or acne prone skin you should be careful when you're using your skincare because using it too much can cause breakouts since vitamin E is acnegenic. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and tell me in the comment section what you would like to hear in the next video and see you in the next one.